All right, day 36. This has been my camping for today. I'm at the Bear Mountain Bridge Motel here in lovely Fort Montgomery, Fort Montgomery, New York. The uh, West Point Military Academy is only a couple miles from here. Um, now here at the hotel, let me see. There's a barbecue place. You can see that right there, right across the streets. The um, the Bagel Cafe. I went there for breakfast this morning, and I had a, a two egg bagel with a cheese and a bagel with cream cheese. Everything's going really uh, wonderfully today. I got a lot done, but nothing physical. I've deliberately haven't walked any or as little as possible. I was able to get a ride down to a um, pharmacy to get these super cool glasses that are actually bought a spare pair too. I found out that it's not good to have not have glasses on the trail. There's a mobile station right down the road. There's a Holiday Inn Express. It, this place costs me, I'm here for, I spent two nights. I got in yesterday after the hike and uh, it was $85. And just Mike was with me. We split it last night. He left to go home today. I'm already missing you, Mike. I wish you were back. And uh, so I've got it tonight by myself. They have internet here, it's pretty good. I've been able to upload all of my movies and everything. Um, it's, it's, uh, they're nice people, it's kind of Spartan. I mean, they do have a television, they have an air conditioner. And um, let's see, has a bathroom, has a, a tiny shower, has good hot water though, and I took a shower last night, just took another one a while ago. I understand there's a pizza place uh, right down the road. I'm gonna walk over there and have a little dinner. So I've resupplied, I've got everything ready. Um, they do come and pick you up from the trail, which is wonderful. Uh, a couple of guys came down from the tall mountain, Bear Mountain last night, and they, uh, they actually they, could, they had trouble making it down. Uh, they were so sore. They actually ended up staying at the Bear Mountain Hotel, not the Bear Mountain Bridge Motel, but the Bear Mountain Hotel, and they had a $200 a night rate. So um, it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna be on the trail tomorrow morning. I'm ready to get at it. And uh, but my body needed a day off and um, I don't regret it. And I'm looking forward to day 37 tomorrow. It's hard to believe. All right. All right, here at the Bear Mountain Pizza and Cafe. I've ordered my calzone, I have my Pepsi. Sorry, they don't have Coke here. But uh, I'm ready to eat some dinner. All right, so if you're in Fort Montgomery, come over to Bear Mountain Pizza and Cafe and get one of these gigantic, most gigantic, humongous cal calzones, yeah. All right, day 36 is coming to an end. I'm here in the, the motel, got everything packed, just about ready for tomorrow. I've resupplied. I uh, got my cool blinging glasses and I have a spare pair. So uh, it's, uh, I'm ready to hit the trail tomorrow. Uh, it's been a good day, a productive day, even though I didn't walk. I did everything I could just to relax. And uh, you know, your feet take a pounding out here. I've been fortunate I haven't had any blisters or issues like that. And I've seen so many people with tape and stuff on their feet and just blisters galore. It mine's more just the cumulative fatigue of of stepping on rocks and uh, walking so much. So it did my feet good uh, to to rest. I was hiking with a young lady and she was complaining about her feet have just swollen. You know, it's a it, it's tough to walk uh, so many miles. It's hard on your body. So the rest day today was good. I feel I feel good about taking it. Um, went across the street and had some breakfast. Ate uh, 
ate my own food here for lunch and then for dinner went out and had that calzone I've lost a ton of weight I was weighing I weighed yesterday and I've lost 28 pounds in 36 days and so I'm getting a little concerned about the weight loss. I needed to lose weight anyway, but the uh, I don't want it to be become an issue later on. That hiker hunger is real. Um, I got to where uh, I'd be walking, and just uh, just all of a sudden, just you know, lose all energy. So. I'm changing my eating pattern a little bit. Um, I used to eat something every couple of hours. I'm going to start uh, uh, eating something just about every hour. Um, someone mentioned electrolytes, so I picked up another electrolyte thing to put in my water. So hopefully all that will just keep me energized as this hike goes on. Going from New York, going up to Connecticut's neck to next, I've got a... Uh, mail drop coming in in Connecticut it's got new uh, new pants and shorts a new water system and uh, my friend John's I'm sending up the maps for the rest of the trip north and um, some other stuff so that's gonna be nice and then uh, what's that Massachusetts is next then you start going into the New England states which are supposed to be the toughest ones so hopefully I'll be set and ready to rock and roll when I get up there uh, let me see, I'm about 550 miles into it, just a little less than 550. But basically, I'm a quarter of the way done. And uh, that that's pretty positive. But, you know, that's still three quarters of the way left. So I've got 700 and something miles left to go north to Katahdin. Then when I do the flip-flop, it's uh, 861.9 from Rockfish Gap to Springer. And so 700, that's 1,500 something miles and uh, closer to 1,600 left. That's a lot of walking, but we're hit to, you know, if you look at the big picture, it's just too daunting. You almost have to look at, well, today I have to do this or, you know, and stay focused. Uh, my insightful younger son sent me a, uh, a link, uh, an NPR link on Appalachian Trail. And they were interviewing a couple of hikers. And it was pretty spot on. Somebody said if you were looking for uh, uh, truly insightful, monumental events to happen on the trail, that uh, a lot of time that doesn't happen. It's just a day-to-day, uh, and uh, they use the word grind. And it is. Every morning you get up, it's like going to work. You get up. I get up every morning at 5.15. I try to have my feet on the trail by 6.30. And I walk until uh, six or so. So, you know, it's 12 hours a day of, um, of walking. And that takes a toll on your body and on your, your mental part, too. You know, you, you have all this time to uh, reflect, uh, think about things, what you're going to be doing, what you could have done better in all aspects of your life. And at the same time, uh, if you're not careful, if you're not paying attention on the trail, you'll you'll miss things that, that are going on on the trail, and uh, so uh, you know I'm learning a lot. It's it's been good. Like I've missed a couple of uh, turns because I was uh, focusing on uh, just putting my feet down or thinking about other things, and all of a sudden I'm like, I don't see any white blazes. I have to turn around and go back. Excuse me. The uh, it's hackers midnight here. Um, my friend just Mike left and I'm going to miss him. He left some of his stuff here to put in the hiker's box at the motel, box at the motel. And, um, he left the pad he slept on. I took part of it and cut off a portion and made a, a little seat so that when I sit on stumps and stuff, I have something to sit on rather than just put my rear on the, on the log. He had a tick on him yesterday, so I'm trying to avoid those. Um, let me see, my friends Rocket and Rocket, they've already headed south to come north. I might catch them on the flip-flop. So the main crew I was hiking with, they've all left. Uh, there's a gentleman about my age from Australia. He's here at the motel, and I think he's kicking off tomorrow. Um, so I'll be, um, hike, I'll probably run into him. There's a couple of other guys who are about my age who are, I think they're three or four miles on the trail today. 
they spent the night at the uh, really expensive motel last night because they were just too tired to go anywhere else. And uh, coming down that uh, big old mountain, Bear Mountain, is a bear. So uh, I'll probably catch up with them. And you're constantly making new friends on the trail. So that part's pretty neat. I've really enjoyed the interaction with other hikers. But overall, it's a it's a positive thing. I'm enjoying it. It's a, it's challenging and it's uh, it's relentless. It keeps coming at you, and you just have to. How far am I going today? You just you know keep on doing it and getting through. So, I'm trying. I'm gonna keep that positive attitude and keep meeting new people and new challenges and uh, hiking the Appalachian Trail. It's it's a rocking big adventure, and uh, I'm proud. Proud to be doing it. All right, guys. Y'all, I'll see you tomorrow.